Howdy, happy Thursday. If it's dark in here, it's part of the video, so don't worry. Um, I have the blinds closed. I think you can see that. This has a, I don't know if you can tell, uh, over here, it's like a plastic film that we put on. It's, you can't hardly see it. It's, um, there we are, stained glass looking plastic film. We've had on the door for a few years to help with privacy and all, but I'm doing a video that was inspired by our AC going out. Now, before you feel bad for us, it is really no big deal for us personally right now because we have two. We have one on the old side of the house, of which I'm on in, and then we have another AC of when we added onto the house on the new side of the house. And really, like I said, it's no big deal because fortunately, now my husband knows how to fix air conditioners most of the time. And it is, um, he's thinking an easy fix, only like a $5 fix. So that is good. But it did inspire me to do this video on how to survive when you don't have air conditioning because a few years in our married life we have not had air conditioning and that wouldn't be a big deal to a lot of people that live up north but we live in South Carolina and it is very hot and humid so um, like today let's see what time it is it is hold on oops I always do that I am sorry hold on trying to 11.08 and it is 85 degrees on the old side of the house and we have it set for 76 over here so what I did was oh no I'm gonna try to zoom you around I put a sheet in the doorway this leads to the old side of the house so it's hot over there and it's getting hotter by the minute but it's okay because I have that sheet that's like a barrier Fortunately, we have a restroom on this side of the house. Most of the time, well, everyone, as a matter of fact, hangs out on the old side of the house because it's where our common rooms are, except for our 22-year-old. She does some work in her room. Um, so she's in there a little bit more than the rest of us, but that's just going to force her to come out here to do her work. She can go into my bedroom if she needs to. So... And she will just have to hang out with us when she's here more. You now, somebody might come through the store behind me. I don't know. Ta-da! See, someone did. Okay, um, close the door, please. So I want to give you some tips on how to survive whenever your air conditioner is out or it's really hot and you don't have an AC to begin with. First tip, keep it dark. It makes a big difference. I had, actually, my sister had a babysitter. And she was a very wise woman. She uh, kept her house so dark in the summertime. And, I mean, it was a lot darker than this. We have the blinds closed, but as you can see, a lot of light's still coming in. But it was always so cool in her house compared to everyone else's home. And she would just have the television going. She was one of these old women that had um, soap poppers playing all day long when those were popular back in the day in game shows. And so she would just keep it so cool in there just by keeping it dark. So that's the number one tip I would have to keep your lights out and your window blinds closed. I know it's a little depressing. I like light. I like to open the windows, blinds, and curtains and let the light in. But during a situation like this, you have no time for that. Uh, the second thing, second most important tip I would say is water. First of all, drink your water. You don't want to become dehydrated. And sit in water if you have to. Um, back in the day when, like, Brittany was a baby, we didn't have air conditioning. What we would do, we had a small little kiddie pool, and we would sit outside in the kiddie pool half of the day. And um, we would, like, lay 
on the cool floor. We used to have linoleum in here before we took up the linoleum. We had the hardwoods underneath. We would lay out on the linoleum floor because it was so cool. The lower you're sitting, the the you know at the cool air. What's what's what does it do? It sinks and then the hot air rises. So uh, you want to be sitting lower or on the floor or on a cool surface such as tile. Ceramic tile is perfect for that. Also, I'm looking at my notes. Wet bed sheets. We use those a lot. I would wet sheets and lay them across us, especially at nighttime when we were trying to sleep. And I remember we had a small box fan that I had in the window that I would keep going. And we also had our attic fan. We have a, a big attic fan in the ceiling, and it really keeps down on the temperature. Now, after a while, once it gets above a certain degree mark, that attic fan is just going to be pushing hot air. There's, it's not going to really cool things, but it ke at least keeps the air moving. So it feels like it's helping just a little bit. Also, I would take the sheets and like wet sheets and towels and I would hang them in front of a fan. That would help uh, create cooler air when the air pushed through the sheets or the towels. Um, and then you don't want to be very active. You want to sit as much as you can. I know that's terrible, but it is a way to stay cool. Sometimes it's even cooler not to sit in your house, but to go outside underneath a shade tree. And you could take a wet towel and put it around your neck. That helps out a whole lot too. Or just simply wet your shirts, modest shirts, and put that on or, or you know any other garments as long as it's modest. But that would be good. Um, you could get in the cool bathtub. Keep your water in the tub as long as you don't have pets or children that could fall in and drown. Um, the cool water in the bathtub actually helps. Um, if you have ceiling fans, I know some people up north don't have ceiling fans. Some people do. But keep your ceiling fans going in the right direction. And it will help cool your house down. Keep them going. I said box fans, attic fans. Um, if you have a cool mist humidifier, you could also put that in front of a fan that's blowing and it will help cool you down. Just put the cool mist humidifier right in front of the fan and you sit and it, it helps you a lot. Uh, I don't know if y'all have seen those redneck air conditioners. I did an experiment last year and they really do work. You take a styrofoam cooler and you cut a hole at the top, you take a um, elbow uh, PVC pipe, you stick that in, you put some ice or really cool water into it, and um, actually you're going to have to have a small personal size fan as well. And just look it up on YouTube. Uh, you're going to need a styrofoam cooler, a, P a an elbow PVC pipe and a small fan and you can have a small what they call redneck air conditioner it works it works pretty well um, so I said lay on the cool floor low heat for cooking you don't want to have anything in your house really going even computers if they are um, putting off a whole lot of heat think about things that's put that puts off a lot of heat in your house and uh, you really don't want to use your stove, stove a whole lot or your crock pot. Now, you could put your crock pot outside as long as you have no critters that will get into it, which once it gets above a certain degree, you're not going to have any critters to touch it. But um, I have cooked a lot on our front porch. I have deep fried on our front porch, put crock pots out there, a toaster oven, and cooked out there even with our AC going. You can use some of these tips even without your air conditioner going out. And um, so a pressure cooker is excellent for cooking um, when you're, you want to keep your house cool and um, your microwave. Those two would be the coolest things I believe you could use to keep your house cool during times like this. Now, when you're looking for a house, if you go into the market for a house, these are the three tips I would give you to have on that house. Um, this is just my opinion. This is what I have learned from this house. This house, when, um, it's an, the old part 
is um, was built in 1908, so now it's like 108 years old, and it has uh, an attic fan that the previous owners had put in and a wood stove. Uh, they put the wood stove in. Prior to that, there were just fireplaces in here, which aren't as energy efficient as a wood stove is. So I always said if I ever lived in a, another home, I'm spoiled now. What I would like to have is an attic fan, um, or some people call it a whole house fan, uh, where you crack your windows and you turn the attic fan on and it pulls the air in through the windows and a wood stove so that way we can stay semi cooler if anything ever happened to our air conditioning which you never know and then we can stay warm with the wood and we have had to use both in this house because we had been without AC or central heat for a few years well AC for two or three maybe two years and then the heat maybe five or six years and so I would also suggest getting a house that has large overhangs or eaves because that really cuts down on the heat and um, keeps your windows shaded so that not as much heat comes through the windows. So I guess that's everything. Another tip for when your air conditioner is going is to keep it shaded. It's good to keep your AC clean and to keep leaves and whatnot out of your air conditioner. But when it is going, you could put like an overhang on it or have it shaded. So whenever that air draws through the external part of your AC on the outside of your house, it is drawing in cooler air and it doesn't have to work as hard to keep the AC cooling your house. So that's a big tip for that. And also, if since I am a wife of a technician, also keep your air filters clean. And besides that, it will make your house smell better as well. Besides it being energy efficient, it won't be smell as dusty. So that's all. So anyway, I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk with you later. Bye.